Hi, this is the second part of an orientation uh, set of videos for SketchUp for Schools. And in this video, we'll take a look at basic navigation tips for beginners. So when you start up this program, you're going to default to the Select tool and the rest of the toolbar, the rest of the tools in the toolbar are usually set up to the most useful tools. This Select tool, though, is rather interesting. Now, naturally, you just select something by clicking on it. But the other ways that you can select something is to drag around the object and select it like this. But there is a little known feature of this that if you drag from left to right, you have to encompass the entire object in order to select it. If, on the other hand, you drag from right to left, you just have to touch the object and it will be selected. So remember that one. That's a strange but uh, effective way of controlling what selections you'll get on the screen. It'll come in handy later. Next tool we want to get to know is the Orbit tool. To move around this thing in navigation, the Orbit tool you can select like this, and then when you click and drag, you can pan back and forth. You can tilt up and down. But there's some features of this that can also be used to enhance it, and that is to hold the Shift key down. When you hold Shift, now you strafe back and forth, and you can elevate up and down. So the combination of these things, you can move anywhere you like in this little 3D universe. And by the way, to get to the Orbit tool, you hit the O for Orbit. To get back to the Select tool, hit Spacebar for Select. And those shortcuts are going to pay off in spades later on. So get to know those shortcuts. The Views. Well, now we're going to go on over to the Options menu over here. And as we start to open up all these Options menu, they get pretty heavy all the way through. We're going to go take a look at something called Views. I wish it was a fast way to close all of these things. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Uh, but for now, let's go to Views, which looks like a little clapboard from a movie. You have basically eight standard views that you can choose. And uh, maybe the center one is viewing something from the top, just like that, and viewing from the front, just like that. You also have the option to look at something from a more very natural and, and um, intuitive perspective view or from a parallel projection view. And parallel projection means all the objects will appear exactly uh, the height that they are on the screen. There will be no forced perspective, so things in the further in the background won't appear any smaller than things in the front, and that can get a little disorienting, but we'll see that later on too. Going to get rid of that for now. And the final thing we should be mentioning is that we can uh, start using mouse buttons in different ways. Certainly the um, left mouse button is the most intuitive. You click and you use whatever or activate whatever tool you currently have there. But the other tools that you might want to know are things like the wheel mouse, Wheel mouse will let you roll in or zoom in and zoom out. The interesting thing there is it zooms in or out wherever you place the cursor. So to navigate around here a little bit, just put the cursor where it is you want to zoom in and out to. And the other thing that's a bit of a feature with the wheel mouse is the wheel mouse is a button itself. So if you press the wheel into the mouse, you get the orbit tool temporarily. Now here I am in parallel projection, and that's, again, not terribly intuitive, so I'm going to go back to that and change it back to perspective. That's where we usually default to. And you get an idea of what's happening here a little bit better. So that's the wheel mouse, turning it back into the orbit tool. And finally, we got the right mouse button. Now I'm going to go back to the select tool by hitting spacebar. And you can select with the left mouse button, but if you select something and then right mouse click it, you get a contextual menu. And in this particular case, it's going to show us things that we can do with complete grouped objects. We can um, find out a little bit about the object. We can hide it if we wanted to. And if we wanted to get it back, we'd have to go over to the options. And in this particular case, it's the display options. Looks like a little pair of glasses. We'll show the hidden object. And then we see a little ghost of that object. So we can right mouse click the ghost and unhide it and bring it back. So there's a little orientation to navigating around. We'll see you in the next video. And we're actually going to start working through a model to give you a little more understanding of how the tools work. See you there.